Do you, what are your expectations? You can start, Kiasmo. Well, never ever, play, uh, never ever played visual novel before. So as a first experience, I'd say it went kind of well. It's not a kind of game that I I believe myself to enjoy, but this one was a good experience overall. So it, it was a surprise, but a, <laughs> a positive one. Kasava Shoujo, I, I think for many people, was their introduction to visual novels. The, uh, Fahrenheit, you posted like there is a graph with all the details, and I think it says that like 80% of the people who played this game, that was their first visual novel, something like that. A rough estimation was like 80%, right? Yes, yes, yes. So um, there is there is some uh, details about the um, about the survey, like, um, you know, as in like problems. Um, for example, like, it's not, you know, for, for a survey side, it's not amazing. But it's, those it, um, I... those who did answer the survey are very much are, are very much the target audience. So I think it's fine, <laughs> you know. I think that the server size is not nine hundred, right? Isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. it was nine hundred. So it's not it's not terrible, but um, is that yeah, if you were uh, if you took by, it yeah. to like the uh, official like uh, statistics bureau, I think they would um, throw it back in your face or something. Uh, this visual novel was quote unquote uh, made by Fortran, which is why the studio is called uh, Four Leaf uh, Studio. They were able to channel the virgin energies of fortune in one of the characters. <laughs> yeah, do you mean Kenji? The I, bad ending know. caused by him on the roof was yeah. kind of hilarious. One of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, yeah. All, all, all I'm going to say is that uh, Kenji was uh, correct all along. Exactly, <laughs> we, yeah. we, we should have listened. <laughs> Kenji yeah. is, the, is the Paul of... <laughs> is the Cassandra of the... The one who speaks the truth, but no one listens to. Uh, and he, he, sp- he spoke to us through a dating simulator <laughs> <laughs> with crippled girls in it. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so like that is like of um, his interactions very often become a little bit meta. Like he talks about how many attractive girls are in the school and towards the end of the route where you... Uh, end up talking to him and almost become intimately close. Uh, he talks about how everything seems like it's already been written for him, like everything is... But it's kind of nice because it's like poking fun at the idea of video games. Some people like to say that it, this isn't a... Uh, but you, you could argue that it's not really a phone game or whatnot. It's not, not honestly. The, let's be honest. The erotic scenes are few and most of the story it's relatively tame there is nothing to explain there are a couple of panty shots of course a little bit of fan service but that's it the the pornographic uh, roots of uh, of of this novel go back to like some somebody i think called Raita, a japanese dojinshi artist mm-hmm. called Raita created a dojinshi which is basic most of them are 95% of the Jinshi are pornographic in nature and the remaining 5% yes. are fan fiction. Yeah, <laughs> and it's and they're, they're comics around 30 pages long, uh, manga style. And so he drew um, a Dojinshi about Nausicaa. Yeah, yeah, of the Valley of the Wind. And at the back, back of it, uh, and the last pages, he put in a, a, an illustration with, with a bunch of Crippled girls. Crippled girls, yes. Yeah. And this got posted on 4chan. It became popular and they yeah. started to draw f- fun images. And someone came up with the idea let's turn it into a real visual novel, which is kind of fascinating because it shows the, <laughs> the creativity that some people can see. Even like, this is the thing that upsets me because a lot of smut. I do believe there are some stories that could be salvaged and turn into something great, like in the case of this video game. But most of the times, the audience just wants a few things and that's it. <laughs> yeah. So from what I've heard, there was some drama and like some people were kicked out while this was getting made because they wanted to make it more meme and smarty. Mm. With with something about a, a paralyzed Mexican woman <laughs> or something, <laughs> even though it started off on Foshan, 
so the people on you can't actually organize anything there so the, there was a forum on one of those uh, free forum hosting sites if you remember mm-hmm. them and they uh, started to gather there i mean it started from from fortune people from fortune got together and then outside of fortune but still channeling yeah. the yeah the ideas yeah. they were able to they they pretty much did the first draft. It was horrible. They went back to the drawing board, redid it completely. They asked for uh, people to send in pictures. They were even able to recruit a few artists to do some intro cutscenes, some some CGI, and even the character design. So they were able overall to consider that it's a free game. It's decently written. The stories and the ideas are, I think. Uh, well thought out and the character designs are memorable overall yeah. so, as a strange online effort <laughs> with people who never met in real life and we are talking before the pandemic when then it became something a bit more common for video games to have their studios develop games separately you know, each one in their houses programming away and sending in all the different parts and assembling them together. A little bit of the um, old fanzines in the furry fandom where they would, each one of them, draw one image, then they would send it to the next person. Like, in rotation, everyone would make copies and put them together until at the end you had, like, 30, 40 images stapled together and it was a fanzine. It's the same thing, only with a video game in this case. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of love went into its um, production, you know, but especially um, the animation they had. You know, mm-hmm. each of the main, each of the major characters gets a, a nice um, animation at the start of their roots, which is uh, really good. Um, Some of the artists are still active who worked on this, but they have never been able to come back together to make yeah. another another visual novel. Interesting if they could do that, but at the same time, I understand it was catching lightning, lightning in a bottle. Uh, the creators, uh, I, I've noticed, have been insistent about that there shouldn't be, there isn't going to be, and there shouldn't be a, a Katawa Shoujo too. And when some some other group not uh, related to mm-hmm. the, the original group tried to make a sequel or what, I think she's in disease. <laughs> they were made. I do wonder, maybe in the future a big studio will ask permission and then we'll get a sequel, or maybe even an anime. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it will be as good, though. I think um, you, 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 you can kind of tell. It's it, it's not very obvious, but it, in in like subtle ways, you you can tell just like, hey, a big studio like, didn't, didn't make this. Yeah, no, that, that's why there is like, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but there is a sincerity that you cannot find in most big games. So then going through the criticisms which I've seen of this visual novel, were A, the characters insufferable, and B, that like the different routes are obviously written by different people. You, um, I wouldn't say the quality was varied. I would, you can tell, but uh, I would say, um, but like I wouldn't be able to um, identify where one person stopped writing and the other person started writing. Really, it's I, I like mainly like it's like I would suggest it's more about the um, character differences. So like I think for some of these characters, you you know just 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 by like virtue, sorry by um, um extension of their personality, you might like feel frustrated with some of them. And you might, you know, have like a good experience with like other characters. You know, I think I think that's kind of what it is. I didn't I didn't really I couldn't really identify any terrible writing or like bad writing. Who was your favorite? Um, who who was your favorite character? It would have to be Lily. What how about you? <laughs> you see, you see, um, I like I like Tim Shinzune. Really, I, I I'm looking at the at the save survey, um, the full oh, right, survey. Right, right. You, you, you've you've um, Gone, gone for for the populist option. Then I see. No, 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 no. Hanako for some reason. I, I found the her to kind of boring. But I guess people like their their moe 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 girls or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People people um could relate more to Hanako. Yeah, um, I can, you know, I can, I, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Lily's the second to last, and she's on a. I can kind of see why some people might hate. Uh, she's on it, to be honest. Yeah, I like, kind of, I kind of, 
I like I kind of do agree that like Kenji is is a pretty solid like secondary character. I think I felt you know all these scenes were were, were quite sort of funny. If there was one character which I found annoying, it was uh, Shizune's uh, little brother, the cross dressing little brother. Jim Hideki. Pro- Hideki, yeah. Yeah. He was he was kind of weird. <laughs> I wonder I wonder whether they included it. Like, like that's that's that that's one of the weirdest things from her route is uh like her brother. It's like why I, is he? <laughs> I, he just I think the reason I find him so annoying is that other than the cross dressing, I can kind of imagine that's a real person like this. I see. I see. Like, yeah. I thought I thought the I thought the art teacher was was a bit annoying. If if he goes down a Rin's route, um, he gets kind of a bit uh, overbearing um, at times. But um, that's kind yeah. of it, really. The protagonist, they have a personality. He saw. Yeah, he kind of did. Because that that was another one of the complaints which I saw. I mean, most of the most of the reviews were positive. Did you feel bored when playing the game at any point? Um, I felt I I felt it a little bit with the characters that sort of branch off kind of early, like um like a Rin's route. Her um like how you navigate her storyline is a bit opaque because because she's kind of like a difficult character to read. And so if 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 you want to get like um if you want to see all all the endings, then that's a little bit frustrating. I think uh, like Hanako as well was a little, uh, like um a little bit weird because again she's she's a kind of a difficult character to read. So um, there's, you know, I just I found that that I couldn't really like I couldn't really um, navigate too well through her story to get to get the endings, but um, I did manage. But <laughs> so I don't agree with the unsufferable characters. I think most of them are reasonable once you understand why they are like this, and that many of their flaws are either because of their issues or a coping mechanism. There are some characters that are relatively annoying but once you understand what they are like why they are like this it sort of makes sense at least to a degree did you feel like the different routes were written by different people you can sort of feel yeah um, but in a sense it kind of works for what i were able to finish all of them i finished a few but for what i could discern to a degree you can feel that they are written by different People, but they kind of capture the the mood, the kind of person that wrote them understood the different personalities of the characters they were writing for. So of course, some of them come out uh, a bit more lighthearted or less serious than others. But I think it worked well. Not perfect, but for what this game is, it worked well. The first visual novel which I did enjoy was uh, Steins Gate. The, the reason why I liked it is because it had it it had a lot of quiet moments, mm-hmm. you know, slice of life, uh, you know, anime, whatever moments. But it also like had like there was something something else bigger go- going on. Um, whereas here, maybe maybe I'm just too old to care uh, that much about high school romance. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, the the thing that I liked about the story is. It's a small, uh, small key story, and it's about accepting limits and trying to work through issues, which is something that no matter the age, it's. I think the messages in the story, for the most part, were good. You can feel, of course, that there is a little bit of discrepancy with some of the um, some of the stories. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I def- I definitely agree with this. I mean, Emmy's route is pretty good. You know, um, there's there's a um, fan theory that um, the protagonist dies at at the end of like all the routes apart from Emmy's route <laughs> because because in Emmy's route like he actually like works on getting healthier, which is which which is true. Emmy's route was mm. probably what like one of, one of the strongest routes, and is and, and there's a good message overall. Yeah, so yeah, I um, I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, the the message of Emmy's route. Uh, well, one of the two messages. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, I, I would, I would say I in, in those that cases, route, uh, but I know why the sneaker in is going on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's better if you play play to find find out yourself rather than us. Uh, <laughs> but I think I know. As telling you, yeah, it's kind um, of um, I kind of I, I kind of like how they handled it because it it is a realistic 
exactly how, how they do it without without um, straying too far into um, spoiler territory. Yeah, you don't you don't want to get spoiled about that. Um, <laughs> no, you don't want to put them online. And spend... There is a safe safer work version as well, if I'm not mistaken, right? So... Mm. Yes, there is. Yes, yeah. there's an uh, there's a option in settings to turn off the um, mm-hmm. sexual content. So yeah, it's um you can play the play the game without it. Yeah, but... just play it as it was just a romance story without nothing else. Like the thing about visual novels settings that that's just to get people to uh, read the novel, really. Said, and uh, which is what which is what I totally disagree with. I think if you got a good story, you shouldn't try to. And I understand that the people from um, who made this video game, Katawa Shoujo, try to play a little bit on that too. But at the same time, thankfully, the story works even without the the erotic scenes. I think with the pornographic scenes, and that's the strength of the game. Yeah, I mean, I would, um, I would kind of. May, may sort of in part disagree. I think having those scenes does help in that it makes it. Well, so that, I, I think realistic is the wrong word because obviously it's not, but uh, <laughs> it makes it more. What's 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 the word? Not not so uh, impending. Uh, more um sort of. I'll get I'll get back to you guys. Yeah. Um. Yes. Um. I. The word I mean is uh, is imminent, right? It be, it's like um holy shit. I can actually see a, a quote unquote like relationship with this girl, and I think that does help sort of maybe like maybe drive the message home what like what are the good messages about this is that um sex in itself isn't isn't like the answer um to to everything life goes on after you, you do that and you need to still think about your partner and uphold the relationship no, afterwards you know i think no, so um, in that respect i think it, it is kind of a good thing but i mean maybe like maybe you can you can still say that if the, if the, those scenes are included but you know i just think it makes it more um, well, it it makes it less subtle, let's say. No, no, I don't disagree with that idea. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not opposed to this kind of content in anything. I do believe that since we we all are sexual creatures, I don't oppose the idea of a story in which ex- sexuality is explored and used even. I just think there is no reason to show the act itself you can imply it and there nothing will be lost in the story i agree with you i do believe that it's good that they show that the story is not not just about the main protagonist getting into the various girls panties and that's it and that after is like afterward he has to deal with also the consequences of what getting intimate with someone means I, to, um, I want to. I want to uh, come back. You know. You know. Obviously, um, I um, agree with this. But so, uh, like, I'm. I'm sort of thinking more like pragmatically. I think you know. Well, how how many people are going to read your your visual novel if if you don't include your scenes, right? I, I think that's a um concern. Yeah. It, it may, you know, it may it may be a unfortunate concern. You know, we are we we, we are like fallen creatures after all. But <laughs> it does have to be reconciled in a way. And I do think there is a a, a unique tone that can be made by actually like literally showing the acts i think there is um it turns it into something else and that opens and that does open up i um, think that's wrong though instead because usually sexual intimacy is something that should be shared between the two partners alone so to have a to have a look or even a saying into that is, of course of course you're supposed to think you are the main protagonist etc but this is the cheapening part because it reduces it to what the right want you to do so either way it's either you become the tool of the writer for their own idea of what sex or intimacy is and no matter the variety of scenarios they come up with you always are restricted to this to certain action and certain things and on the other side it cheapens the intimacy that should exist between two persons in a sexual act um, for me the thing is sexual intimacy can be used it's an important tool even in the writing toolkit because it's a form of bonding that doesn't exist in any other form and the consequences as well can be incredible like the idea when a when a man and a woman lie together there is always a possibility of a child etc 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 so it is an important thing but i think turning it into one of the 
reasons to play a game or something like this cheapens it because it becomes false reward because no matter what it's fake it's all a video game couldn't you say that everything else about it i don't know the themes about you know you should look past uh, people's disabilities or that's also all fake <laughs> as well yeah but uh, the same thing that's something a bit different because you uh, when you think about the, about those things you can put them in a wider context the the, the pornographic scene is written in one way to titillate in a certain way and that's it there is no other way to read into it the other themes of the story at least you can reflect on them you can ponder on them. You can question and evaluate them. The yeah, thing is, I can, you know, morally, um, I agree, you know, that's fair enough, you know. But you kind of can reflect, right? I mean, especially so Shadine's scene, right? There has been quite a bit of reflection on, on that scene, right? There's this sort of like, like meme, like, oh, yeah, like she she like rapes you in that scene. Well, that that, that is reflection, right? And that does, um, it does say something about that tack to that moment it's not it's not like completely just made of itself you know there's there's um Im- implications to it that are, that are kind of real in this no, in, in this three context you know i can understand that but that could be shown without having to have the this is the thing the for me the porn is an extra that cheapens the rest and this is my big issue with no matter what Honestly, I can even accept a story with morals I disagree with, as long as it's not just for for this kind of titillation. Let's put it this way. This is the thing I don't like. And this is why it's a waste for me, because it could be done in a different way, which is still erotic, but at the same time doesn't need to slide into the pornographic. My limit is the erotic, and even then, you need to you're treading on thin ice. Sorry, this is how I feel, and the two things can work together: sex, sexuality, exploration of intimacy, and a good story. Uh, one thing which uh, anime is uh, famous for is uh, f- uh, for having uh, conflicting tones. Some people can't can't get into anime because of this. For example. Uh, in a series like Full Metal Alchemist, you, you will have li- literal g- genocide, uh, and then mm-hmm. uh, you will have like a comedy scene with the chibi characters. Many anime seems to be guilty of this tonal whiplash. For some reason, it doesn't bother me, and I can enjoy both uh, both of those things. So I'm not saying that it's bothersome that there is pornography. It's cheapening the mess. Exactly. That's what people who don't like those comedy scenes in serious dramas, drama kind of anime, also say as well that like it has to be all grim and, and all dark or throughout because it leads to tonal whiplash. I think it's how it's handled in this case because there can be a comedy even in in the darkest hour. Uh, sometimes I think it's also needed to a degree. One thing I um, I do want to talk about here is a, a certain result from the survey, right? It's about the the habits you know where players pick up as a result of of a reading it, right? So the most common uh, result is uh, reduced masturbation. <laughs> so so well, arguably, you know, it's possible that it is greater than than the sum of its parts, and that ultimately the the message or maybe this sort of like propaganda it uh, produced at the end led to, I don't know, a um, healthier um, lifestyle for some people. I guess it's just that uh, some people want to like have everything <laughs> in a sort of holistic view, both the good and the bad. Another um, cool thing is how like people um, reportedly um, t- took up running. You know, I'll, I'll um, admit, the, uh, one, of the, one of the main reasons I um, took up planking was, was because of Emmy's roots. I ended up working out now. If I had read this when I was younger, I would have been affected by it more. Oh, well, you know, a yeah, fifty-nine-year-old managed to play this game, so you know. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I mean, it's interesting because like the um, the median age was nineteen. Well, it was it was kind of twenty because like the, the median age was like nineteen point nine four or something, and I'm basically that. A lot of these games are people who have already been to high school looking back on it. And you can't be cynical about it. 
they are trying to like relive their high school years except it doesn't suck they're, they're not yeah. losers yeah I but, think, um, I've got a feeling it might uh, like this story might be more impactful for younger people than older people just just because it's it's, it's less relevant like the the, the older you get because it's more um like being in high school just becomes like less so significant you know i also felt like this with the melancholy of arvis zumia at the same time even when do, when watching this kind of stuff at an old age there's another value because you you kind of get a warm feeling in looking back at uh, those days which may ha- may have sucked in a lot of ways yeah 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 the uh, the and the nostalgia goggles going back on yeah <laughs> and then when, when you like really think about it and like you remember like like how like you know like the lessons and stuff and <laughs> oh and my things. god <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it is it, it is quite quite cozy the uh, the end like i think the background music was pretty good even though it, it does get kind of like repetitive and um, they made some good choices with the background images and things it's you know it's pretty yeah it's very comfy it's definitely something you can play for a very long time without without sort of feeling you know we're depressed or something <laughs> the quality of uh, western visual novels in general is a lot worse than the that of japanese ones for some reason yeah well well love students uh, you know uh, you know where civilization is uh, incommunicable <laughs> Hmm. Then there's K- Kasava Jojo, which is the exception that shows that there are rules. Most of the times, Westerners do not understand what makes for good visual novels. Weirdly enough, there are a lot of good Western style novels. If, and this is a big, huge, monstrously huge if, if you are willing to play furry <laughs> visual oh, novels. Oh, here we go, here we go. Kiasmo, what was your favorite route? Arako was my favorite one, I think, because, I don't know, I think it triggers that me, man, and you, woman, must protect kind of part of my brain. Hanako seems to be the, the most favorite character, so... The, so yeah, 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 I think, that, like, and her route had the most, um, you know, um, emotional impact on people. Exactly, um, so, yeah. yeah. It's easy to understand why. <laughs> and it's almost... A tie with Lily because she fits the other ancient like archetype of the you tall, you big, you beautiful kind of <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not that you want, but for most men work the best. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, with I, the I, I that uh, see she's blind, doesn't matter how ugly I am as long as <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you know, uh, unfortunately, um, she does have preferences, Lily. So um, she 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 will find out eventually. So. <laughs> no, of course, but it's a big plus to start. <laughs> I do have, have a few sort of minor criticisms of those roots, just while we're talking about them. So for, for Hanako, for if you want to get all the endings, because there's like a bad ending, mm-hmm, there's mm-hmm. a neutral ending, and then there's a good ending. Her character is. Um, I, I found her character to be like a little bit hard to read. Like what, like what you do in certain situations. I do agree with that. Because uh, because okay, so uh, to get to get the good ending, for example, you have to like ask her to go out of you, like shopping somewhere. Mm-hmm. But um, on the first time around, I thought, okay, she's probably not going to want to do that because because she's Hanako, right? However, I do also think that it kind of works out in the end. She's conflicted too. She doesn't want to be seen as someone that that needs others all the time. Especially when you see the um, in the good ending, she's in conflict with herself. It's just that it's very unclear in the story itself. Yes, she's um she's obviously you know very um, attached to Lily, right? And um she in the Lily's route when she sort of leaves to go to go back to Scotland, so, you know Hanako is very upset. Hanako like self actualizes. She joins the newspaper club or something. <laughs> so, in a sense, there's certain um, examples of this where characters kind of have good um, outcomes, kind of like without the player's intervention in a way, um, which I thought was yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah, Rahanako's route was a bit opaque sometimes, but that's that's the only real criticism. Um, as for um, Lily's routes, I thought it was it was a bit too. Um, it felt it felt like a like a happy ever after ending, <laughs> like um, in the end when like they're in like that that like field of like sunflowers or something. It's like okay, all right. 
<laughs> I just try to. I, um, I will. Um, I I am um, consulted the um, the uh, flow chart for uh, Rin's roots. Um, yeah, I tried to do that too, but I got lost all the time. <laughs> Plus, I was mm-hmm. curious to see how choosing randomly would lead me to the quote-unquote correct way to play. It would be like to actually like reread the whole thing every time. You make a different choice, but uh... oh no! <laughs> no I, I think they have a um, a pretty good like skipping uh, function. Yeah, and that's in the game for a reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I think I think it would get very um, old very quickly if you reread the, the like whole opening every time like you take like a different power for the game. I, uh, I don't know. In the in this dark in that sort of dark week where I played um, FGO, like my phone was chugging away, <laughs> like rendering those graphics, man. So, which was your least favorite uh, route? For me, I think it was Rin. But when I say that, it, it it didn't really mean her route was like badly written. I just I, yeah, I found, she felt I couldn't really um, I couldn't really there was there wasn't really much about her character to sort of um, relate to. Um, she's like she was very much on I thought she was going to be more interesting because she was such a weird character in a sense, but it was different, difficult to connect to her. I don't know. I, I think Misha was kind of annoying. <laughs> I couldn't even attempt that route. I was like, nope, not even trying. <laughs> what, what a Misha? I cannot stand that duo. Honestly, I'm sorry. I don't oh, come on, man. <laughs> no maybe, one, uh, maybe no it's way. because um, I'm the noisy person, so I don't want other people to be noisy. I have to be. Oh, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> well, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. No, don't she try didn't, she didn't to have out her, Italian um... my Italian in a sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, in them, in them, um, in the Shizune's roots, um, you can cheat on Shizune technically, though if it's cheating, it's kind of up, up, up the bait, and you kind of. Uh, it's not, but it's not really. And um, yeah, you can, you, you, yeah. you can cheat on she's in a with with Misha, quote unquote. But uh, but uh, Misha doesn't have her own route or or, or anything. Um, it just wasn't yeah, added to the it's game. More like exactly, mm-hmm. it's really difficult to tolerate the two of them. <laughs> if they were maybe if they were by themselves, it would have been easier. But because they had to work as a pair, that was the thing that made it difficult because it felt like there was always a third wheel in the relationship no matter what you try to do fun part of that because it's like you need to discern am i talking to actual i think they did a good job of trying to integrate the fact that they have disability into like, no, no, their, that's their absolutely character. true all the characters when it comes when it comes to that it was done quite well uh, you could see and it was interesting to show it was interesting to see how they were able to show how people handle such issues in their life because <laughs> and now we can talk about being able-bodied as much as we want, but for real, having such disabilities for someone else would be kind of weird to interact with someone like that. Yeah. I think that's why as a story, um, I think it would work no matter what because... There is a lot of introspection about a lot of things. And that's something that, for at least for me, shows that the people were, who created this visual novel were really passionate, uh, passionate about it because um, they could have simply tried to create a few scenes and connect them together and after that it's just bonking until there is <laughs> nothing else into the table. Instead they tried to ask questions and reflect on some themes. So that's why, I, in my opinion, this is no matter what, and that's why I think it's good that there is an option to skip the the um, loot scenes, so to say. Those who want it uh, can get it, and those who don't want it can keep it. I think um, it was just sort of a, a solid experience. You know, if you like dating sims, then it's, it's, it's definitely worth checking out, you know. Maybe like maybe um the like uh, casual players shouldn't do every single route um uh, because it, it can get a bit um like a tiring because like uh, def like some some of the routes routes are definitely um are definitely um better th- than others mm-hmm. um so like maybe just start with like one character you like it was a pretty good overall you know 
uh, and um, I, I don't know. I um, I hope it cures your like masturbation um, or something <laughs> as a result of uh, playing the game. I don't know. I would give it a um, seven out of ten. Same here. Uh, what about you, Kiasmo? I give it a seven and a half because, um, despite its flaws, I think the the fact that they were able to tackle some very difficult topics and still give some decent answers at times. It's it's worth acknowledging, and I suggest people to play at least a couple of the routes. Yes, even if they are, like Farad was saying, some of them are a little bit opaque, a little bit obscure when it comes to getting the correct ending. There are some interesting messages in there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a shame we don't have as much time as we would usually have because um there is some other stuff I want to talk about, like um like the um, nurse um and and this sort of there are like a, a few sort of kind of darker undercurrents, mm-hmm. like um, how the protagonist might, might might not have very long to live and things. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it was, it, it was where good. they cannot get with with skills, they make up for passion when it comes to this project. Let's put it this way. Uh, oh yeah, um, I should I should have spent um, a bit of time talking about uh, some of the problems I found with with the Android ports. So uh, <laughs> I got it, I got it working. <laughs> Um, you only have to do a little bit of a gerrymandering with, with with the files, but um, and by gerrymandering, I don't mean it like in, in the actual words. I mean just just like moving files around, basically. Yeah, I think I think when you download all the files, you 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 have to move the main game files up up one. Though it it, it has been a while since I installed it, so I could be wrong. <laughs> and it might it might even be different um, for <laughs> other people who who install it. The main problem with the Android is that sometimes it will not be able to render um certain um um like like a graphical effects mm. so you you basically just have to skip through those and and you get most of the story like you know most of the story is is intact um i also i also like the stuff like like the end credits are, are completely broken as well so you can't see those yeah. all of the end credits are broken apart from hannah Coe's, where you where you get the very end of <laughs> of, of the end credits and and it's just some like fan art they did, which is kind of cute. But um, um, there are some advantages of 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 playing it on the phone. Um, the first one being is that is that it, you know you don't have to like lump around a big computer. Um, you can just sort of have it on your phone. You can sort of yeah yeah. yeah. But um, on, on the other hand, it is very buggy and very broken. Um, so you should probably just use the PC version. Um, though um, the the only problem I found with the PC version is sometimes it would just like crash. <laughs> just, just like randomly, well, um, on boot because um, it has yeah, it, it has to change the resolution of, of your screen, and if your computer doesn't, and if your computer doesn't like its its like resolution being changed, it might just kick you like um, um out out of the game. But um, that's mostly due to to to, to um the the age of uh, this um project, so it's yeah. not it's not really the game's fault. But yeah, yeah it's, so it's, it's um, great to think that it's already. Yeah. The problem I had is that because I I used the guide, uh, you you can't you can have a, either a small window or a, or the full screen. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's kind of annoying, like going back and forth from the full screen to looking at a guide. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah it, it's it it's the, I think it is the same like that for everyone. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you, you either go full screen or you do it in a small window. That's... It's a set resolution, and that's it. It came out in two thousand and twelve. Oh, um, it's rather and it, it, yeah, and it was it, it was translated into Japanese in 2015. Oh, okay. Uh, and it has been translated into French, Russian, Spanish, Japanese, and Italian oh. <laughs> as well. Um, so all weirdos from all the world can enjoy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the Russian version of of Fortune also made their own uh, visual novel. <laughs> And, and it's set in the USSR, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh no, we need to play that next. Yeah, it, it's like you're sent to um, a camp, a huge camp? camp in the USSR, available on um, on Steam. Uh, if you think about it, like they like yeah, like some mods for a kind of a schedule ha- like um, have been made, so maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Follow know. up stream on the mods. Well. Yeah, if we ever, yeah, if if we ever like, you know, what you know, want to do a follow up or something, you know, uh, we we can try to get some of these like mod, like mods working. And with that said, I need to go to the gym. So, 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Will we'll, 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 we'll I let you go so you can get burnt? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to run. You know, like uh, think of them. Like think, yeah, right, think of them, Emmy, when you will work yeah. out. You know, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, I won't get a heart attack as well while running. So, <laughs> well, you know, it I'm, could, it could, it could end well for you. you know? <laughs> exactly. Maybe All right then. Story ever hits me as well. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah. Okay.